Example 4. Here comes the real thing. In the same system as in example 3, the flow of water is suddenly changed to 8 liters per second, and the flow at the discharge of the tank changes to 9 liters per second, such that the level in the tank remains constant. Let us call this one. We have here 8 liters per second of water, equivalent to 8 kilograms per second. Here we have 1 liter per second of the sodium hydroxide solution, equivalent to 1 kilogram per second. At the outlet, we have 9 liters per second, equivalent to 9 kilograms per second. So, 8 kilograms from this stream, stream 1, plus 1 kilogram from street 2, give us 9 kilograms per second at the inlet. At the outlet, we have 9 kilograms per second too. That means that uh, this level is not going to change, is not going to change after we change this flow. Now, what would be the concentration at the outlet stream after 5 minutes? What would be the concentration when the system reaches its new steady state? The density of all the streams remains constant at 1 kg per liter. Okay, as we discussed before, this concentration, the concentration in stream in the concentration of sodium hydroxide in stream 3 is the same all the time as the concentration inside of the tank. At the very beginning of our experiment, that means when t is zero, just exactly when we change the flow of water to 8 liters per second, remember that previously we had 10 liters per second, the concentration in of at the outlet in t equals zero is 0 0.9091 grams per liter. This is what we had from the previous example, example three. Now, let's make the 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 uh, a mass balance exactly in time equals zero. A mass balance on the sodium hydroxide, which is going to be input minus output equals accumulation. The input at this very moment is 1 liter per second times the concentration of this stream, 10 uh, grams per liter, minus at the outlet we have at this very moment this concentration and the flow of 9 liters per second times 0 0.9091 grams per liter. That is the accumulation of sodium hydroxide. So from this we get 10 grams per second since they cancel minus 8,18 grams per second. So we can see that in time equals zero our system is in unsteady state. Now let's make the mass balance on sodium hydroxide. Input minus output plus production minus consumption equals accumulation. This is zero, so input minus output equals accumulation. The mass of sodium hydroxide at the inlet is in this current we have zero in this other one we have that volumetric flow which is V2 times its concentration C2 those are constants the mass of sodium hydroxide at the outlet will be the volumetric flow or core of stream 3 times its concentration remember this concentration will be changing with time from time equals zero on it will change accumulation is the change of the mass inside our system how the mass this mass is going to change with time and uh, if you recall for this system from table one that change is going to be the volume which is constant 
times the derivative of the concentration in the tank with time and remember that this concentration is the same as the one in the tank so this is concentration 3 and concentration 3 is a function of time if we substitute our input outputs and accumulation we will have input which is volume 2 times concentration 2 minus outputs which is volume 3 times concentration 3 equals accumulation which is the volume of the tank times the derivative of the concentration 3 with time now let's see what things are changing with time and what things are constant volume 2 and C2 volumetric flow 2 and concentration 2 are constants this stream is kept constant volume 3 volumetric flow 3 is also constant 9 liters per second but concentration 3 is changing with time the volume in the tank will be will be constant and uh, C3 remember it is changing with time and of course time is changing we can rearrange this last equation into this new one remember that this is changing with time and this is changing with time so this is what we have to solve now we have to integrate this from time equals zero to time t in this part we will have concentration 3 equal to the concentration when time is zero remember it zero comma ninety ninety one onto a final concentration c3 which is a function of time you can solve this at this moment please pause the video and try to solve this equation okay I compare your solution with this one remember that this here this concentration is the concentration in time equals zero which is zero comma nine ninety ninety one now we have to solve this equation to have c3 here as function of time and this is what you are going to get with this equation we can find the value of the concentration at any given value of time now the question is what would be the concentration of the outlet stream after five minutes now we have an equation to solve that in time equal five minutes that means time is 300 seconds discuss why these units are the ones that must be used and substituting all the, substituting all the information that we know we can find that the concentration at the outlet stream when time equals 300 seconds is 1.081 grams per liter now if we want to find the final concentration at the new steady state that is going to happen when time equals infinite can, uh, you can solve that you can even substitute time equals infinite in our in this equation you will see that all this term vanishes and the concentration will be found only using this this is the equation that holds when time equals infinite okay you just solved your first unsteady state mass balance great